Guess what we're talking about today, guys? Air filters. Hey guys, welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. Thanks for tuning in. A viewer of mine, hopefully he's a subscriber also, his name's Ken Stormer. He commented on one of my videos a little while ago, kind of out of the blue, and he said, hey Steve, what's your recommendations for cleaning an air filter? And I stared at that on my computer for a few seconds and I was like, wow, how have I never thought of that for doing a video? That's a great idea for a video, Ken. Thank you very much. Cheers to you, my friend, Foster's Logger. So here we go. I can't possibly take you guys through every single air filter out there on all your outdoor power equipment, your lawn and garden equipment. There's hundreds of them. Fortunately, 99% of those are all made from the same four materials. Now that's what we're cleaning. We're cleaning the material. It doesn't matter what shape or size it is. So let's get into this right now. Here's an easy one. These are mesh filters, what I call mesh filters. Here's one right here, That's all. it's a pre-filter from a cutoff saw. It's this plastic mesh kind of stuff. How easy is that to clean? Carb spray, brake cleaner spray, something like that. Spray the whole thing like that. Air compressor, blow it off. And what, by the way, when you're doing this, eye protection is a great idea because you know, you get some of that carb spray blowing back and it hit you in the eyes. That stings pretty bad. It's not good for your eyes, obviously, too. Here's another one. This is off of a little chainsaw. It's also the same idea. It's this mesh stuff. Now, look at that. Look how dirty that is. That's plugging, that's choking your chainsaw off right there somewhat. Again, carb spray or brake cleaner. You spray the whole thing. Air compressor. <laughs> Blow that thing off like that. You're not going to get soap and water down into an air filter like that. There's too many nooks and crannies and crevices. You could maybe with a Q-tip, but you can do that with carb spray or brake cleaner. No problem. But now here's one. It's on some chainsaws out there. This is a flocked filter. It is a mesh screen. It's a steel mesh screen that has this flocking material that's been glued to it. So if you use carb spray or brake cleaner on that, it's gonna start melting the glue that's holding that flocking material to that mesh. And then also if you take your air compressor like that and blow it off really close, like right in there like that, you're just blowing the flocking material, material right off. And it's gonna look like this. Look at this little spot right here. All the flocking material is gone right there and you just have a wide open steel mesh right there. All kinds of dust and stuff is gonna go straight through that. It's pretty much not even doing anything now if you remove that flocking material. So on these ones I would suggest soap and water, lightly soap and water right in the kitchen sink and uh, rinse it off really good. If you wanna dry it off, Take your air compressor and don't hold it up close, but just like that. Leave it sit out in the sun or something. Let it dry off before you put that back on. These are actually quite delicate air filters, these ones. Moving on. Now we get into these filters right here. You guys are gonna, a lot of you guys out there are gonna really recognize this one. This is off a lot of steel equipment. Steel FS38s, 45s, 55s, the little tillers, the MM55s. Millions of these things out there. I'm not actually sure what these things are made out of. It's kind of a compressed, kind of dense fabric of some kind. You can absolutely clean these. Again, it's carb spray, brake cleaner. Let it soak for a minute or two and blast that off with your air compressor. It does work. They won't choke your engine out after you clean that. But in some air filter cases, is it worth doing that? These are the most inexpensive air filters ever. They are so cheap, so inexpensive to just replace it. 
Here's another one that's from an Echo. These are really common on Echo blowers and Echo uh, grass trimmers, weed eaters. You can do the same thing on that. It's made out of this kind of a fabric kind of stuff. Spray it again, blow it off with your air compressor, and you're good to go. It will work. Here's one off of an old home light. I believe this is a home light chainsaw. It's kind of the made out of the same material. Again, same thing. You can spray that out safely with carb cleaner and uh, brake cleaner, blow it off. Now here's a steel filter right here from uh, the Formix steel units. It's the, made out of, on one side, it's made out of the same thing that that first filter is that I showed you, that compressed kind of fabric stuff. But you flip it over and look on the other side. Glued right to the other side is foam. Don't spray this out with carb cleaner or brake cleaner because of the foam. This one right here, is, soap and water is all you can do with this one. And I'm gonna show you why you don't spray foam with brake cleaner or a carb cleaner, leading right into the next part, foam filters. Okay, foam filters, how do we clean those then? You're gonna find some foam filters that uh, are just a filter all on its own, just that's all that's in there is a piece of foam. You're gonna find a lot more out there that are pre-filters. Here's a pre-filter right here made out of foam. It goes behind one of those square paper pleated filters, pre-filter. Honda and uh, the knockoff Hondas, Chondas, they got these type of filters. You guys all gonna recognize that one. They have a band that goes around them like this that is made out of foam that uh, is just a pre-filter. It keeps all the big stuff from getting stuck into that that paper pleating. Now, how do we clean those? Don't use carb cleaner or brake cleaner on that. I'm gonna show you why right now. <clears throat> Watch what happens when I spray this foam with carb cleaner. You see that? You see what's happening? It's puffing up like a balloon. It's expanding that foam now and what that's doing is actually melting the foam a little bit. If you do that too many times, you're gonna find that the foam is gonna start doing this. Look at this, I can pull this right apart. I can rip that apart, no problem. It just turns into dust in some cases. Now that's defeating the purpose of the air filter right there. Your engine's gonna be sucking all that stuff back in because it's powder, it's dust. So don't use a carb cleaner or brake cleaner to do that. How do you clean that then? Warm, soapy water is really the only way you should do it. Take it into your wife's kitchen sink and uh, dish soap works great. Don't worry, she's not gonna mind. Dish soap, wash that out just like it's a normal kitchen sponge and uh, rinse it off really good. Bring it back out to your shop, blow it off with your air compressor and uh, that should be good to go too. Now, I gotta bring this up with you guys talking about that. I'm not even exaggerating. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but this is absolutely true. I have a kitchen sink in my house that is, I swear it's magic. I can take anything I want into that kitchen sink and make a complete mess, and I just leave it like that. I wake up in the morning, and I walk back into that kitchen, and that sink is spotlessly clean again. Every time. I'm not kidding you guys. Two of my friends, also have the same magic sink that I have. So if you guys got the same sink, consider yourselves to be very lucky. I saved the best till last here, the most common filter you're gonna see out there, paper pleated filters. You guys are gonna see these things on everything. They come on uh, lawnmowers, Tecumseh lawnmowers, Briggs and Stratton lawnmowers, uh, riding lawnmowers. There's a riding lawnmower filter. There's another riding lawnmower filter right there. They come on some uh, of the newer uh, weed eaters, grass trimmers, hedge trimmers, that kind of stuff. Same thing there. I'm going to tell you what the manufacturers say. They say that the only way you can clean these things 
is to uh, take the dirty side of your air filter down like that and bang it on the table, bang it on your bench. And that does work. That gets a lot of that debris out of there until it's clean. And also your air compressor, no problem. Blow that out all you want like that until it's clean. But what happens when you see something that looks like this? Look at this air filter I pulled out last week out of a guy's lawnmower. I had to put it in a Ziploc bag to get it home. Look at this. Now that is a gooey air filter right there, completely soaked with dirty engine oil. He needed to change his oil anyways. That is from tipping your lawnmower over the wrong way. That's exactly what he did right there. If you're gonna tip your lawnmower over to check the blade or to clean underneath your deck, always make sure that you tip your lawnmower over so the air filter is on the upside. If you tip it over so the air filter is down like that, gravity is just gonna drain your engine oil out and destroy your air filter, just like that. Now, can you clean that? I would say absolutely replace that. Obviously, most people are saying, duh, just replace that. So I can understand why you would want to clean something like this if you have no possible way of getting one that day. You, I have heard that you can actually clean these things, um, wash them out in gasoline, petrol, put them in a little ice cream pail, slosh it around, wash it out, and then blow it out with your air compressor again and it will clean good enough. Now I gotta bring this up to you guys because I know that if I don't bring this up, there's some, gonna be lots of people commenting saying, do the flashlight test. Yes, paper pleated. If you take a flashlight and shine it through your paper, and if you can see the flashlight light coming through that, then it's clean. I have to disagree with that because I've seen many lawnmowers come in where the people have tipped it over like I just showed you on that, but their engine oil is clean. And the, that paper is soaked with clean engine oil. You can shine a flashlight through that and still see light coming through it, but it is not clean. It is going, you stick that back on your lawnmower, it's gonna choke your engine off, even though you can see the light coming through it from a flashlight. So I would not, depend on that flashlight test personally. So I hope I did help some of you guys out there. That's just from my experience with air filters over the years, how to do it and how not to do it, or even if you should do it. Um, what can I say? I hope you subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that uh, share button. That'd be really cool if you could do that for me guys. And uh, what can I say other than that? Steve out.